Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. Today we are going to have another Negro League All-Star game. And this time I thought it would be interesting uh, to do a Negro League All-Stars versus my 1991 Stratomatic World Champion White Sox. And when I say it's my 1991 Stratomatic Champion White Sox, I mean it's actually them. I actually had, these are personalized cards, and I had personalized, here's Lloyd Mosby, for instance. I had personalized cards made up for every player on my 1991 White Sox team by sending the, um, sending the statistics to Stratomatic, and they made the cards based on the, um, statistics I gave them. So if you're not familiar with the personalized cards, you can send off to Stratomatic for a card of yourself or your friends or in the case that I did here, although I have done the other. Um, but in this particular case, um, statistics for teams that you have had in the past, although that is very expensive, I will point that out. I don't remember offhand what the cost is per card. If you order multiple cards, every card after the first one is a little less uh, costly than the first one. But the first one costs more, and they do cost a lot. I think it was like $200 to have the whole team made, 200 and something. So anyway, we will be playing the Negro League All-Stars visiting my White Sox of 1991 World Champions. Um, obviously, I'm sure you're not familiar with my White Sox team, and you will get familiar with them as they come up. Just uh, remember 1991 and um, the, uh, you know, and, and what players were good back then, and you should have a pretty good idea. So anyway, uh, and I think this is one of the, I think this is the Negro League team that I played, or one of the Negro League teams that I played in the last game that was between two Negro League All-Star teams. This is one of those teams. I put a couple different guys in the lineup just to change it up a little bit. But the last Negro League game did so well, I thought I'd have another one. So we're going to have Cool Papa Bell facing... The pitcher for my White Sox is Jack Black McDowell. And he will bat. He goes 3-3, three, three, which is a ground ball to the second baseman. So he is retired. And uh, the way that that league worked, also, it wasn't a lot. There weren't a lot of teams in it. It was about eight teams, and we each had two. There was four guys in an eight-team league. We each had two, and we started with a base team, and in this case, the White Sox. And then we had three draft picks, so you will see that there's a lot of White Sox on my team. Uh, Candy Jim Taylor will bat next, and he gets a 1-3, pop out to second. They got in two bad rolls to start off. And now it's Doby Moore, and he gets a 2-8, which is a single. And I'm going to use the Houston Astros uh, markers for the Negro League All-Stars because this Houston Astro logo has a star on it. And I didn't make up any Negro League uh, markers. So we got Rap Dixon up after him, and he gets a 4-11, which is a fly ball to left. The left fielder is, in fact, Lloyd Mosby, and he's a 3. And that's going to be a 9. That is not good news. That is a 9-3, which is a double 3. So the runner scores, and we have, um, let's see, two hits and a run. And then Ben Taylor is up after him with a man at second and two down. And he gets a 2-3, another bad roll, and that's a pop out to first. But even with some bad rolls, the Negro League All-Stars get one run in the top of the first. And now my White Sox are coming to bat with Lloyd Mosby leading off. So we will put that down here. 
He gets a 6-4. And pitching for the Negro League All-Stars today will be Big Bill Foster. And that's a pop-out to short. One away. Tim Wallach is up. He gets a 5-4. That's going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. The shortstop, I believe, is a 1 for these guys. And that is a 16. 16 and 1 at short is an out, 2 away. And that brings up Rance Mullenix, who is the DH today. He gets a 2-9, which is a fly ball. So my White Sox score nothing there. We go to the top of the second. And I want to point out, even though these were the world champions of our league, of our eight-team league, they did only win 89 games. So this may not go well. Fats Jenkins is up for the Negro League All-Stars, and he gets a 3-10, which is a ground ball to first. He's out. Vic Harris is up. He gets a 6-9, which is a double one or a single. And that is going to be a single. And they get their third hit of the game. And he's a stealing A, but he's going to stay put for right now. Or wait a minute. No, he's a stealing C. So Bonnie Serrell is up. You might remember him from the other game. 3-7 is a single. So he gets a hit. Negro League All-Stars have their fourth hit of the game. Oh, and this was zero. And now we're in the top of the second. Double Duty Radcliffe, the catcher, is up. He gets a 2-3, which is a ground ball short, double play, and that is the end of the inning. So they don't score any more runs there, although they did threaten in the second. And now we are going to the bottom of the second. We got Kevin Moss. Kevin Moss, no Moss. Now look at that card. Check that card out. That is a sweet card. He hit 65 home runs for me that year. That's a 1-9, which is a strikeout. One away. Dan Pask was up. He gets a 4-12 on Foster, which is a fly ball right field, and he is out. And Carco Vice, the catcher, hit, uh, hits a ground ball to third, and he is out. And no runs come across for the White Sox. We get nothing there, and we go to the top of the third. Cool Papa Bell is up for the Negro Leaguers. He gets a 2-4, which is a fly ball to left, one away. Candy Jim Taylor gets a 6-3, which is a ground ball to the shortstop, and that is Ozzie Smith, or Ozzie Gian, and he is a shortstop one. They would both be ones, but that is a seven, and I believe he's out. And he is. That's two down. And Doby Moore is back up again for 11. That's a fly ball to left. That's to Mosby. He is a three. That is a 13, maybe an out, hopefully, and it is. So the Negro League All-Stars get nothing in the third. We go to the bottom of the third. And you got Kirby Union Gap Puckett up to lead off. We're looking for a hit here. One, two is a foul out to the catcher, one away. Gian is up. He gets a 4-9. That is a ground ball second base. Two away. And Rene Gonzalez gets up and he is striking out. So there's no hits there. And we he were being no hit by uh, Big Bill Foster. Not that that's in, you know, an embarrassment of any type. I mean, that year he was... Or this card is based on a 22-10 season with a 230 earned run average. Rap Dixon is up, and he gets a 6-9. We're in the top of the fourth now. 6-9 is a double one or a single. And that is going to be a single. And it's another hit. And he is a stealing A. He'll, he'll try to steal. And he does make it. He got a four. There's no way he's thrown out on that. 
Ben Taylor is up. He gets a 2-3, which is a pop-out to first. One away. Fats Jenkins is up. He gets a 1-7, which is a ground ball. Third base, B. That's two away. Runner holds. And Vic Harris is up. He gets a 4-8. That's a ground to short. That's Ozzie Gian. He is a 1. That is an out. And no runs come in for the Negro League All-Stars. So, Black Jack McDowell is pitching quite well. It's just we can't even get a hit off of Big Bill Foster. Lloyd Mosby comes up. He gets a 5-7. That's a triple 1-2. to two. That'll be the first hit or a single. And it is going to be a single. Lloyd Mosby is aboard, and we've got our first hit. We break up the no-hitter with Lloyd Mosby, the leadoff hitter, and Tim Wallach is up. He gets a 6-6, six, six, double one to four. Now all of a sudden he's falling apart, and that's going to be a single double asterisk. So runners are at the corners. They're going to play the infield back. It's still relatively early, and they do have a one-run lead, and uh, they are supposedly better than us. Rance Mullenix is up. He gets a 3-5, which is a single one to six or a line out to second. And that will be a line out to second base. So that's the first out. That brings up our man, Nomas, Moss, and he gets three ten, which is a ground ball, second base A, and that's a double play, and we don't get any runs on that. So we did manage our first two hits of the game, which is nice, but we did not manage to get another run. And we go to the top of the fifth. And Bonnie Cyril is up. He gets a 6-9, which is a double one. That thing is a magnet. That's going to be a single. And it's going to be their sixth hit. And uh, Double Duty Radcliffe is up. He gets a 1-8, which is a strikeout. That's one away, and he's going to try to steal second. He's an A. And he does make it. There's nobody that can throw him out on an 8. Cool Papa Bell is up. He gets a 1-9, that's a ground ball, second base, and it would have been a second base A double play, but they stole the base. Candy Jim Taylor gets a 6-3, that's a ground ball to short, and that is Ozzie Gian, and he is a 1, and that's going to be an out. So, they did get a man on, and he stole second, but he did not score. So, we've got, you know... I mean, Blackjack McDowell's bending but not breaking, and Dan Pasqua is up at the plate, and he gets a double one to 14 or a single, and that's going to be a double, and that's our third hit, so we're, hopefully we're making our comeback here. Dan Pasqua's up, or wait a minute, no, that was Dan Pasqua, yeah, that was Dan Pasqua. Karkovice is up, and he gets a one Four, which is a ground ball, third base A, that's one away. Kirby Union Gap Puckett gets a 3-7, which is a ground ball, third base. That's two away. And Ozzie Gian's up, and he gets a 2-4, which is a line out to first base, and we do not get any more runs. Runs are probably going to be very, very difficult to come by off of Big Bill Taylor. Or Big Bill Foster, sorry. Um, Doby Moore is up. He gets a 1-9. That's a triple 1-9 to nine or a double. And that'll be a double. They get their seventh hit. Um, next guy is going to sacrifice him to third. That's a two, and that's going to be safe at first. And so there's runners at the corners with no outs. We have to bring the infield in. And that's going to be Ben Taylor up at the plate for that. 2-7 is a walk and loads the bases. We still have the infield in because we cannot afford to give up any runs. Fats Jenkins is up. He gets a 4-7, which is a ground ball second base. The second baseman is a 2. That is a 19. 19 and 2 at second is an out 1. But runners don't score because we had the infield in. Um... Vic Harris is up. He gets a 6-8. That's not going to be good. That's a walk. And another run scores. Let's see. No, this inning is over. And 
And uh, Bonnie Cyril is now up at the plate. He gets a 2-4, which is a ground ball, third base A, but we had the infield in. So uh, there is, that's not a double play, unfortunately. And uh, double duty Radcliffe is up, and he gets a 1-8, which is a strikeout. So McDowell still only allows the one run, even though he was in a lot of trouble almost all inning long. But that allows the Negro League All-Stars to take a 2-0 lead on us, and we have Rene Gonzalez up at the plate. He gets a 3-5, which is a fly ball, one away. Lloyd Mosby gets a 6-9, which is a strikeout, two away. And Tim Wallach comes up, and he gets a 3-9, which is a strikeout, and we get no runs there. We go to the top of the seventh. Cool Papa Bell is up. And, of course, McDowell is good for the entire game. He pitched 170 innings that year. 1-5 uh, is a fly ball for Papa Bell, so he's out. Candy Jim Taylor gets a 4-8, which is a ground ball to short. That is Gian saving our butt consistently. It's two down, and Doby Moore is up, and he gets a 5-10, which is a strikeout. And we go to the bottom of the seventh. Getting late for my White Sox, but we're only down 2 nothing. Rance Mullenix up. He gets a 5-3. That is a ground ball to first base, and the first baseman is a 1. That is a 19. 19 and 1 is roll again. 4 and 1 is an out. One away. Kevin Moss is up. And he gets a 2 7, which is a home run. Gone. Kevin Moss gets a hit and a home run. And now we're only down by a run. Dan Pask was up. And he gets a 2 11, which is a ground ball second base. That's two down. And Carco Vice is up, and he gets a 3-9, which is a ground ball. And that's how, I mean, if we're going to score, if we're going to tie these guys, that's how we're going to have to do it. Somebody's going to have to, McDowell's going to have to keep pitching like he has, and we're going to have to pop a lucky homer or two more. And the All-Stars are up with Rack Dixon. He gets a 4-11. That's, that's a fly ball to left, and that is... Mosby, and he's a three. I think that's an out. That is. Ben Taylor is up. He gets a four or five. That's a strikeout, two away. And Fats Jenkins is up, and he gets a four twelve, which is a fly ball left field. So, yeah, really, I mean, McDowell, you, you're not going to be able to blame this one on McDowell. And we are up in the bottom of the eighth. Kirby Puckett is up. He gets a 5-5, which is a strikeout. One away. Guillen is up. He gets a 3-8, which is a ground ball to the first baseman, and he is retired on that. And Rene Gonzalez gets a 2-3, which is a ground ball shortstop. No runs, and we are going to luckily be at the top of the order next inning. But um, and I'm going to bring in relief. For McDowell, even though he's pitched great. I'm going to get you guys a look at some of the other guys on the team. Um, although, really, we did not have a great bullpen. I'm going to go with Eric Plunk. Eric Plunk will come out and be our relief pitcher. Vic Harris is up. We got nothing there. And we are in the top of the ninth with the All-Stars up. 2-8 is a home run 1-10 to 10 or a double. And that's gone. And the All-Stars have another run. And now they take the two-run lead back. And they have a 3-1 to one lead now. And uh, Bonnie Cyril is up. He gets a 110, which is a fly ball center field. So there's one away. 
Double duty Radcliffe gets a 1 9, which is a fly ball to center. That's two away. And Cool Papa Bell gets a 3 9, which is a fly ball to the right fielder. But the Negro League All Stars got another run. And now we come to the bottom of the ninth, where we absolutely have got to have two runs, or that's going to be it. And they are obviously going to keep Big Bill Taylor out there. This card is based on 282 innings, so I'm sure he's good for it. Lloyd Mosby comes up, and he gets a 211, which is a pop out to second, one away. Tim Wallach is up. He gets a 1-2. That was his column, but he gets a ground ball to short, and he's out. And that brings up Rance Mullenix, and Rance Mullenix is going to ground out to first. And we get no runs there, and we lose the game by the score of 3-1. to one, And we were out hit 8-4. to four. The only run for us coming on a home run by Kevin Moss, no Moss. But considering this is a uh, Negro League all-star team, basically, I think it was a very good game. So that's it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.